Welcome back to our channel, where today we're diving into a crucial topic that can make or break any relationship the art of effective apology. Whether you've stumbled into a disagreement or found yourself in a misunderstanding, mastering the skill of apologizing can strengthen the bonds you share with your partner. Join us as we unpack the key components of a sincere apology and discover practical strategies to mend rifts and nurture deeper connections in your relationship. Let's get started. How to apologize effectively in a relationship. Introduction, the importance of apologizing. Apologizing effectively is a cornerstone of maintaining healthy and enduring relationships. In any meaningful relationship, misunderstandings and conflicts are inevitable. However, the ability to offer a sincere apology can mend emotional wounds, rebuild trust, and even strengthen the bond between individuals. Apologizing is not merely about uttering the words, I'm sorry, it embodies a profound expression of empathy, humility, and a genuine commitment to making amends. At its core, an apology acknowledges the hurt or inconvenience caused to the other person. This acknowledgement is crucial because it validates the feelings and experiences of the aggrieved party. A sincere apology demonstrates that one recognizes their mistake and the impact it has had on the relationship. This validation can be immensely healing, as it allows the injured party to feel heard and understood. Understanding the impact of your actions. Self-awareness is a crucial component in recognizing the impact of one's actions on their partner. In any relationship, actions and words carry significant weight, often influencing the emotional well-being of both parties. By reflecting on the situation that led to the need for an apology, individuals can gain valuable insights into how their behavior affected their partner. This reflection is not merely an introspective activity, but a fundamental step toward crafting a meaningful and sincere apology. Empathy plays a pivotal role in this process. To effectively apologize, one must strive to understand the feelings and perspectives of the person who was hurt. Empathy involves putting oneself in the other person's shoes, experiencing their emotions, and acknowledging their pain. This understanding can illuminate the gravity of the situation and guide the apologizer in addressing the specific emotional wounds caused. Choosing the right time and place. When it comes to apologizing in a relationship, selecting the appropriate time and place is of paramount importance. Timing and setting can significantly affect the reception and effectiveness of your apology. Delivering an apology in a calm, private, and comfortable environment ensures that both parties can engage in an uninterrupted and meaningful conversation. This setting fosters a sense of safety and openness, allowing for genuine communication. Choosing the right time to apologize is equally critical. It is essential to ensure that both individuals are in the right emotional state to have a productive discussion. Apologizing when emotions are running high can lead to a defensive or hostile response. Instead, wait until both parties have had time to cool down and reflect on the situation. This patience allows for a more rational and level-headed conversation making it easier to express and accept apologies. In summary, the effectiveness of an apology in a relationship is greatly influenced by the timing and setting. By choosing a calm, private, and comfortable environment and ensuring that both parties are in the right emotional state, you create the best possible conditions for a meaningful and productive conversation. This thoughtful approach can significantly enhance the chances of a successful reconciliation. Expressing Genuine Remorse Expressing genuine remorse is a crucial component of any sincere apology in a relationship. It involves taking full responsibility for one's actions and clearly communicating regret for the pain caused. One effective way to convey genuine remorse is by using I statements. This approach helps to take ownership of one's behavior and avoids shifting blame onto others, which can further damage trust and communication. When crafting an apology, it is essential to choose language and tone that reflects sincerity and regret. Instead of saying, I'm sorry you feel that way, which can come across as dismissive, opt for, I'm sorry for what I did and how it hurt you. This subtle shift in phrasing demonstrates accountability and acknowledges the impact of one's actions on the other person. Tone also plays a significant role in expressing genuine remorse. A calm, steady voice conveys sincerity and empathy while a defensive or dismissive tone can undermine the apology's effectiveness. It is important to approach the conversation with empathy, genuinely trying to understand the other person's feelings and perspective. This not only helps in conveying remorse, but also in rebuilding trust and connection. Acknowledging the hurt and taking responsibility. In any relationship, 
recognizing and acknowledging the hurt caused is a crucial first step toward an effective apology. When someone is hurt by our actions, it is essential to explicitly state the pain or harm we have inflicted. This acknowledgement serves a dual purpose. It validates the feelings of the person who has been wronged and demonstrates that the apologizer comprehends the severity of their actions. Explicitly acknowledging the hurt means articulating what you believe the other person is feeling and why. For instance, instead of a vague apology, such as I'm sorry if you were hurt. A more effective approach would be, I understand that my words during our argument were hurtful and made you feel disrespected. This level of specificity shows that you have genuinely reflected on your actions and their impact. It moves beyond a general expression of regret to a clear recognition of the emotional damage caused. Offering a plan for change. When seeking to apologize effectively in a relationship, outlining concrete steps to prevent the recurrence of the same mistake is crucial. Offering a plan for change not only demonstrates sincerity but also reassures the other person that their feelings are taken seriously. A well-thought-out plan indicates that you have reflected on your actions and are committed to making tangible improvements. The initial step in creating a plan for change is to identify the specific behavior or situation that caused the issue. This requires honest self-assessment and a willingness to acknowledge your role in the problem. Once the core issue is identified, brainstorm actionable steps to address and rectify it. These steps should be realistic, achievable, and time-bound, ensuring they are practical and measurable. Communicating your plan effectively is equally important. Clearly articulate your proposed steps to the person you have wronged, ensuring that your intentions are transparent. This open dialogue fosters trust and reaffirms your commitment to positive change. For instance, if the issue was caused by a lack of communication, your plan might include setting aside regular time for meaningful conversations or using tools to keep each other informed, listening and allowing space for response. After delivering a sincere apology, it is crucial to shift the focus from yourself to the person you have wronged. One of the most significant aspects of effective apologizing is listening to the other person's response. This involves giving them the necessary space to express their feelings, ask questions, or seek clarifications. Active listening is an essential skill in this context, as it demonstrates genuine concern and validation of their emotions. Creating a safe and open environment for dialogue is paramount. Allow the other person to communicate their thoughts without interruption, and resist the urge to defend yourself or justify your actions. This space for response is not just a formality, it is an integral part of the healing process in any relationship. By attentively listening, you acknowledge the impact of your actions and show readiness to understand their perspective. Engaging in a two-way conversation necessitates more than just listening. It requires being open to feedback and willing to engage meaningfully. Be prepared for a range of emotions and reactions and approach them with empathy and patience. Sometimes the other person may need time to process the apology and articulate their response. Respecting this need for time can significantly contribute to rebuilding trust and connection. Moving forward, rebuilding trust and healing. After a sincere apology has been made, the process of rebuilding trust and healing the relationship begins. This phase is crucial as it requires consistent and deliberate efforts from both parties to restore the bond that may have been damaged. One of the most vital strategies in this process is ensuring that actions align with the words spoken during the apology. Consistency in behavior demonstrates a genuine commitment to change and helps to rebuild the trust that was lost. Open communication is another cornerstone of this rebuilding process. Both partners should feel comfortable expressing their feelings, concerns, and expectations moving forward. This openness fosters an environment of mutual understanding and support, which is essential for healing. It is important to listen actively and empathetically, validating each other's experiences and emotions without judgment. As we wrap up today's video, remember that effective communication and genuine remorse are the cornerstones of any successful apology. By taking the time to understand your partner's perspective, acknowledging your mistakes, and committing to positive change, you can cultivate a healthier, more resilient relationship. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more relationship tips and advice. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and keep nurturing those meaningful connections.